Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I tried to film this video like four times yesterday and I'm just not used to the lighting in my <laughs> new house yet. So here I am using kind of crazy night lighting again. So I apologize, but I, I just want to get videos going again. So thanks so much for your patience. I did a scrapbook.com haul of a couple lines, mostly pretty actually all uh, Maggie Holmes, Willow Lane, and Crate Papers, Merry Days, which I'm so excited to use for my December daily this year. It's a lot of stuff, and I'm going to open up the ephemera and do it how I always do it, so feel free to skip around and do whatever works for you, but I'm super excited about these collections. Let's start with the papers. Um, I got some specialty papers which are super fun i got this beautiful foil um from maggie holmes willow lane if you look up close you can definitely see that it looks like it's been stitched um with embroidery thread almost so it's so pretty i can't wait to use that sheet maybe for a november daily if i end up doing that again this year like a little gratitude album so gorgeous i also got this piece of cardstock with foil from Maggie Holmes Willow Lane. Um, sorry, there's a little bit of a glare. That's better, a little bit. Um, I love the folk art style of a lot of the floral elements in this particular collection. And I just love this color. It's so pretty. Kind of like a corally pink. And the last piece of specialty paper that I got was from the Merry Days collection, and it's got these super cute snow globes on it, um, on just a vellum. So yeah, I'm really excited to use that for December Daily. For the 12 by 12 papers, I only purchased them from the um, Crate Paper Merry Days. So this one here is called Stocking. So you can see one side is a really fun little calendar style cut apart. I think this would be so cute to frame. I'm gonna tell you now, I'm so obsessed with the swan in this collection. It's just so cute, it's my favorite thing in every single piece. Um, and then the back side here is this really cute simple black and white snowflake. The next one I got was called Merrily, and it has this really pretty holly pattern on one side, and then just kind of a geometric, I don't know what you'd want to call this, like a little starburst maybe, on a nice light blue. I also got this one, which is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing in the whole collection. 12 Days is the name of the paper, and it's got these swans all over it. It's adorable. So cute. The back side, which I probably won't end up using, is um, this nice super dark green with a light blue gray kind of foliage, winter foliage, which is really pretty though too. It is, but I love these swans. Then I got Sleigh Ride, which is another cut apart page. Really cute little elements on it. I love that so many of them are 3x4 cards, which would work really well with pocket page um, scrapbooking. And then the back side is this really pretty black and white frame um, wreath looking thing, which is also very cute. I love how this collection brings together the colorful, like, traditional red and green with kind of some blues and pinks and um, also some graphic black and white elements. It's really fun. And um, the last one that I got in a 12 by 12 is called Frosty Day, and it has all these cute little people doing winter things, which I think is really adorable. And then the other side is just a red with pink polka dot. So that's really cute. And again, these are like a hand-drawn polka dot, which I think is a really fun addition to this collection. So that things definitely look hand-painted, hand-drawn, hand-written. Um, I also got these six by eight paper pads. So many things in this order. Um, so for Merry Days, a lot of these, let's see, get 24 sheets and a lot of them have some foiling, which is pretty fun. So, there's this jingle all the way. Um, this pretty multicolored floral. There's the little people from that 12 by 12 page. I love this 
foil plaid and plaid is not normally my thing but I really like this one um fa la la super cute just black and white sprigs adorable there's the holly my favorite swans and they've got some foil on their wings how cute is that the black and white sienna with his reindeer which I think is adorable just kind of some wintry elements here you could cut those apart or just have a fun little backdrop here's the green with the foliage again here is kind of like the vellum sheet you've got the little snow globes and I love the foil accented um, snow there's this one with some holly it's kind of an interesting color this doesn't pop up a lot but there's kind of a gold in the collection as well Um, kind of a diamond pattern some more winter foliage on a nice really light blue here is that sort of starburst pattern with the foiling which is really pretty um sorry my booklet's cracking open a little bit we've got stars which are really cute they're like a full sorry i'm trying to get it to focus it's like a full star with a little burst around it can you see that yeah there we go so cute um let's see little hot cocoa on teal more plaid without foil the wreath um, sort of foliage look with foiling instead of black and white this time sorry my camera doesn't want to focus there we go and um, which is really pretty we've got some sienas here and some stars with kind of a fringe on the edge for some reason you get two sheets of those which is fine it's pretty neutral um the red one and then follow a again but this time in foil on white so those are really pretty excited to use those for december daily i also got the willow lane six by eight paper pad it has 36 sheets and no foil kind of a fun geometric plus floral this is like that vellum sheet, but on blue, which is so pretty. I really love that. There's this really cute hand-drawn, sort of like whimsical little unicorn, and I love how all the creatures have this sort of folk art looking, um, I don't know, decoration on them. It's very cute. I love these little houses. This is my favorite one. It reminds me of a fairy tale, and obviously I really love the swan, but it's just so pretty. Um, a nice floral, some birds again with that folk art type design to them. Another fun folk arty piece. I just love the, the vibe of this collection, it's so fun. Um, this black and white, a fine kind of print, the floral, kind of like scales almost. More folk art floral. Kind of a scallop on wood green. I'm gonna turn this real quick. Let's see, kind of some ribbons of more folk art flowers. Some more leaves. The cuckoo clocks are one of my favorite elements in this collection as well. It's just so cute and whimsical. More floral. A tiny floral, which is really, really cute. This is so trendy right now, this tiny, Almost reminds me of like 70s kind of floral. It's so fun. And that is just a repeat for the rest of the booklet. So that's a pretty hefty one. Really cute papers in there. Next I will share the 12 by 12 sticker chipboard sheets. Um, this is the Willow Lane sticker sheet. A lot of it, again, you'll see the cute little unicorn, the cuckoo clocks, um, the houses, little animals here and there. It's kind of designed in sort of a, a youthful sort of kiddo way, which I love. It's very cute. The swan's my favorite, <laughs> which surprised no one. Um, but yes, I always love the chipboard sticker sheets. Even though you get so many and I always have a lot left over, I just can't pass them up because they're too cute. I also love how the butterflies have the folk style of decorating as well. So pretty. The Merry Merry chipboard is so cute as well. Um, I don't want to focus. There we go. Um, I love 
again, I just love all the colors that they chose for this and how a lot of it looks hand drawn or written. Um, I love the wreath that says Merry Christmas. I love the ornate sort of like storybook style that they did some of these bold letters in for joy here. Focus camera. There we go. So fun. I love that there's little nutcracker and again, my favorite swan makes an appearance. Um, yeah, they're just, just so fun. So cute. Can't wait to use them. Ready for December. <laughs> Next, I got a couple stickers from the Willow Lane collection. So I got the thickers here, which are nice, um, thick kind of foam type thickers. Um, really cute, especially the cuckoo clocks. And if you like gold glitter, they definitely have a lot of gold glitter in here, which is fun. Um, and then the regular sticker sheet with lots of little strips of words and phrases, which is my favorite type of thing to use. And these birds are so cute. And then this bunny is my favorite thing, I think, in the whole Willow Lane collection. It's so adorable. <laughs> and more cuckoo clocks, little flags, and also some little people, which will be super fun to use. Can't wait. Can't wait to use those. Also from Willow Lane, I got a lot of embellishments. These pom-pom frames are my favorite thing in the entire Willow Lane collection, aside from that bunny, obviously. They're so, so cute. This pink one in particular I love. Um, oh, yeah, they're just adorable. Adorable. And they're so thick that they're going to be difficult to use that I don't even care because they're just so stinking cute. Love those. Love pom-poms on anything. Also from Willow Lane, I got this um, journaling ephemera kit. So, guess I will maybe open it up. Of course, this one doesn't have the little easy open pouch on the bottom. <laughs> but basically, these are like journaling cards with little pockets. So, like this one is a vellum that says cherish, and then it has a little sheet that fits inside for your journaling, which is super fun. It would be nice for pocket pages and if you like to hide your journaling like I do. This one's got kind of like a half pocket, which is super cute. I love journaling on tags. Um, I love you. And this tag has some cute, oh, it's stuck. Mm. Still stuck. There we go. It has some scalloping around the edges, which is really fun. Um, another partial pocket here. Some cute little lines drawn on. And then the bigger one also doesn't have an adhesive. Sorry about this ripping noise. Oops. So this one's pretty fun. It has some paper stitched on here which is really cute. So you have about, I think it said that you have four pages, so that's super fun if you want to write some longer journaling. Or tear them off and just leave one on there. Um, this one says XOXO, and it's pretty big. It's a pretty large pocket. Um, which it looks like it has a window, and then it actually has... It actually has loose pieces of paper in there. I couldn't quite tell if it was a transparency, but there are loose, small pieces of paper in there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then just some aligned card inside. This one's really fun. You can kind of see in the vellum there are some hearts punched. You can see them better like this, actually. <laughs> I might just leave it like that. That's so funny. Um, and then a little lined piece of pink paper there. I love how some of the elements are stitched with a sewing machine. It looks pretty cute. This is not easy to get back in, guys. Woo, gonna be honest. Okay, and then this one is my very favorite because I love this folk art style and it is actually a cutout, a paper cutout, which is super cool. And then kind of some ledger library card style paper in there. So those are really fun. 
so excited for those. I also got the thread bows, which I just think are so adorable. Really simple, but cute and colorful. And then I got the ephemera pack, which we'll see if this one opens with adhesive. Nope, I apologize. <laughs> I thought since um, they usually do have adhesive, I'd just do them during the video because it wouldn't make the horrible noise, but it does, I'm sorry. So for this ephemera, you get 10 pieces that are embossed. Um, so like pressed embossing, not heat embossing. Um, so I don't know how well you can see the texture of it. Yeah, you can see the swans kind of raised up. I guess if I show you from the back. There you go. You can definitely see. So those are really fun. That's a really fancy paper element they've added. I love the swan, obviously. Nice stitched looking floral. Cute folk art frame. Oops. Hey Sunshine and Dream Dream. These are almost like in stack looking with their little frames. This little panda, the dress a focus camera there we go a little rabbit in a ribbon so fun be happy be bright be you little tag that's adorable hello which looks like it's stitched which is super fun and then i love you in a little frame and then these are just regular they are not Press and press embossed. I don't know how you would say that, but I think of like heat embossing sometimes when I say embossed. So I wanted to clarify. Um, lemonade, fifty cents. Little folk art. Be happy, be kind. That one's so cute. A little frame. A teacup. Banner. You are loved. Another kind of stitched looking flower. You are. Oh, this is cute. It's like in a little cross stitch frame and everything. I love that. I also adore these pennants. There were some on the um, chipboard sticker as well. Um, cute tag. Hello, darling. There's my favorite bunny. So cute. There is sunshine in my soul today. Um, a cuckoo clock. A couple little labels. Piece for pair. I like how she does these sometimes in her collections almost like flashcards really cute it's a kitty another little tag anything else sneak out um a couple of these fun butterflies with the folk art style um decorations on them so pretty some cherries which are so cute and Some letters, which I think I would imagine are supposed to slip all magic, but I'm not sure where my eye went. Um, ah, there we go. Okay, magic. Cute. And hey, good looking. I love that. So adorable. All right, so that's all the stuff from the Willow Lane collection that I picked up in my haul. And now we'll move on to the rest of the Crate Paper Merry Days. So, I purchased some stickers. So, I did not get the puffy stickers uh, last time that I did Christmas stuff because I just didn't really want to. But this time around, I think they're going to be really cute in my projects. It's also nice because you could use them pretty much any Christmas probably because they're, you know, they're just gold. So, yeah, really cute. I love this reindeer. <laughs> it's kind of chubby and funny. Um, yeah, some really fun elements to use. And then for the actual sticker sheet, so many cute things. I love the Santa with the reindeer. I love the mittens. I love the little packages in the holly. I guess maybe that's mistletoe. Mistletoe. <laughs> um, so adorable. I really love the pinks that they chose and the super fun, like, storybook style lettering. So cute. The stockings are some of my favorites. And then the salon, of course. So fun. Can't wait to use them. I also got the thickers. 
um, and the puffy stickers. So the thicker they're just a fun hand-drawn looking black simple simple alpha which means I should be able to use them for plenty of other projects as well. So cute. And they will also go with um, snow and cocoa if I decide to do anything for someone else out of snow and cocoa now that I'm done with it. Um, I love the puppy stickers. I especially love how many small elements there are. Like you can see this is my pinky now. These are some pretty small stickers, which is great because I always use the smallest things first and then I run out. So super excited about these. Oh, that swan, so cute. All right. I got the hanging stars, which are a really fun gold, chunky gold glitter. Look at that, look how big it is. So cute. I love how they put that on a package. That's adorable. I did not buy the wrapping paper, um, but they do also have wrapping paper for this collection. Um, some little holiday wishes type stickers. You could use these on presents or cards, but then they also have some word and phrase stickers, which will be great for documenting. Um, yep, really fun, really cute. I just can't get over the pink. I just love it. Pink with red is always one of my favorite color combos. Um, we also got this set of tags with this really pretty chunky twine. So, and these, yay, these have the adhesive. It's way less abrasive to listen to, I think. So for the skinny tags, we have Merry Christmas, Ho Ho Ho. Fa la 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 la. Ooh, these are cute. Look at that. These are cut out. Ho ho ho. Oh my gosh, I love these. Fa la la. That's my favorite. And then Mary. And you could totally use these on your gifts or your cards or whatever you wanted. But I think I'm going to put a lot of these in my December Daily album. Um, and then we have the bigger tags. And also, oops, Santa. <laughs> it also comes with these cute um, gold foil cards, but I don't really know what they're for. I don't know if you're supposed to like mount them, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what the purpose of them are, but I'm not mad about it because they're very cute. And they're the perfect size. Like this looks like basically three by four, so you could totally use these in your documenting. And not just at Christmas. Anyway, we have Santa, this cute little joy. Look at these pears, adorable. Partridge in a pear tree, I bet that's what that is. Uh, my favorite swan, Philila in a snow globe. Oh, I love this wreath too. They're killing me with the pinks. <laughs> Merry Christmas in a wreath, a little snowflake um, die cut center, that's cute. Um, some houses. I love those houses. And then look at that. I'm obsessed with this font. A little tree. A little cutout tree. There we go. Um, love and kind of an ornament. Another wreath. A star cutout. Snowman. The most wonderful time of the year. Merry Christmas special delivery. That's adorable too. Oh, I'm so excited. I had not actually opened these yet, if you can't tell by how excited I am about some of these tags. Um, really fun. Really, really fun. I also got some really fun um, extras. I bought most of the things in this collection because it's so cute. These shaker stickers are one of my favorites because they have these beautiful clear white glitter inside and you can shake them. And there's my swan. But they're all adorable. I really like these. Also got the paper clips with these giant, um, I don't know, things on them. <laughs> with also some star glitter in there. So those are really fun. And, like, I kind of, if I was using a traditional planner, I would put this in my planner. Because 
yeah they're so many they're adorable and then also I adore these buttons they never make buttons like this for collections so cute they're actually fabric it's gonna look so interesting in documenting okay almost done guys just a couple more things I got the washi tape which hooray my swan friend <laughs> makes an appearance and lots of good word and phrases that you can cut apart as well and then the multicolored floral really pretty and then I have the ephemera uh, which also doesn't open on the bottom that's cool Oh my guys. <laughs> so this is only my second year doing December Daily, so I'm really excited about it. Okay, these include glitter. So it's a wonderful life. Special delivery. Ho ho ho. I love these postage stamp looking ones. Santa. Snowflake, my favorite swan. It's kind of pink this time, cute. December 25th. Merry Christmas, I love this font, so pretty. A little car with presents, a house. Look at the tree in the window, so cute. Um, oops, there's another snowflake. Cute little skates. Um, let's see, merry and bright, all the twinkle lights, cute, little hat, Christmas Eve, Santa, and then you can spell out Noel here with this pretty storybook font, so cute, and then um, the bigger package, which also has some glitter in it. Which, by the way, it's not loose in the package, so they did a good job of um, adhering the glitter. <laughs> My husband calls glitter the STD of Christmas, so. <laughs> um, cute little house tag. A little girl with a present. I love her pink hair. I love that they gave their characters some interesting hair. But I did see online that some people were asking for um, more diverse people in their scrapbook supplies because everyone is always white. And I totally agree with that. Please put more, <laughs> more people of color in your scrapbook collections, great paper. Um, this has a pretty scalloped edge with glitter on it. Oh, look at this tree. I love it. So cute. Little branch. Here's my favorite wreath again. So cute. And my swan. I'm just obsessed. So cute. Pink swans. I'm happy. The most wonderful time of the year. Merry days with that kind of gold color again. Holly tag. Season of joy. And it's for Nutcracker. I'm so obsessed with the Nutcracker. I'm really excited about that. Fall la, -la in a snow globe. Jingle all the way. That's adorable. Merry Christmas. A tag, another tag, and a, ooh, that's pretty. They didn't have this and anything else. I really like the red. A Dear Santa letter, which is so cute because you could actually write on there. And then another wreath that says Be Merry. So that's the ephemera. It's so cute. I'm really excited to use these. I just want to make like a 12 by 12. <laughs> this is a pretty early album. The last thing that I got is this Echo Park Traveler's notebook comes in this container here um, and it comes with one blank traveler's notebook I love the buffalo check which is why I bought it um, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna use it for but it has some pockets in the front and the traveler's notebook which is unlined but the outside is striped and then the back has some more pockets and a little pin holder. And I'm super excited to figure out what I'm going to use this for because it's very cute. So yes, that is all the stuff. 
so much stuff. <laughs> but I'm really, 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 really excited to do my December daily this year. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you bought this collection, either one of them, and what you think of them, and what your plans are for December daily because I'm so excited. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.